All right, this thing is far too big to even attempt to put in my photo booth, but I wanted to take a quick look at the box. This is the Senate Guard from Star Wars Episode uh, 2, 3, something like that. I don't know. Uh, this is a limited edition StarWarsShop.com exclusive, I believe. Yeah, nice little picture of the character, little bio. That's all well and good. Who cares? Let's open it. I've never actually even opened this thing, <clears throat> despite having had it for a number of years. We should record this momentous occasion. Styrofoam comes off like that, and there you go. The statue in a box. Um, <clears throat> base. The base is heavy. You could probably kill somebody with this if you tried. Um, it's really heavy. I don't know if you can see it in there through all the light reflecting on the plastic, but I have number 421 out of 1500. And there's this guy. It's one solid piece, and it too is heavy. So I'll turn off the camera now and put it in the photo booth. Hopefully, it fits. So it doesn't quite fit in my light box in a way that you can see it all, I don't think. But there it is, the Senate Guard statue by Gentle Giant. The sculpting is really nice. It's not super detailed. Um, there's not any texture in the cloak. Um, there's lots of nice folds and pleats. And there is a little bit of, there's a few little lines or something sculpted there into the bottom hem of the robe. Um, I love the paint. That This is a nice matte blue, uh, and the helmet is a very, very shiny blue. The silver and the black on the r rifle are nicely applied. Um, the strap is slightly flexible. I don't know what it is. Possibly just plastic, but the rest of it is just um, heavy... I don't remember resin, whatever Gentle Giant makes their busts, their statues out of. Um, I really like the visor and the crest on the helmet. Um, I like that this is a variation of the Red Royal Guard. And I have one of those handy, so let's see if we can bring that in and compare the two. Really tricky thing to get both of these in the light box at the same time. Um, on account of the flare of the robe, it makes them stick out quite a bit. But as you can probably see, there we go, Maybe that looks better. They're identical, except in color. Um, it's the same sculpt, except for it looks like a different arm, because his has gloves up to his elbow, and his is a sleeve that comes all the way down to his wrists. And then, of course, the different weapon and the different helmet. And I much prefer the Royal Guard. The Royal Guard has always been one of my favorite designs from Star Wars. Even though they did absolutely nothing in the movies, um, we just knew they had to be badasses because they were the Emperor's guards. Um, and it's really a shame we didn't get to see them do anything because they've got the cool Force Pike and the cool helmet, which gives you absolutely no visibility and no hearing. Um, I was a Royal Guard in the 501st Legion for a few months, and it's very claustrophobic inside that helmet. You are breathing your own exhaled air a lot. Um, it's very stuffy. I'm sure that in the Star Wars universe they've got cool breathing apparatuses and microphones so that people can hear you talk, and speakers so that you can hear other people talk, but in real life, without there's not a lot of room in that helmet to do that kind of stuff. Um, anyway, I really like these two statues. I'm really happy to have both of them. They are... Uh, anyway, I really like them. They're, they're not too expensive, it seems like, when I've looked at them on eBay. Um, I think the Senate Guard one, even though it was an exclusive, it went on clearance for like 30% off from Star Wars Shop or Gentle Giant Shop, wherever it was available. And that's why I ended up getting it. And then I had it boxed up because I didn't have room, but I have room now to display both of these statues, so just wanted to pop them out and look at them really quick. Uh, where's my... I didn't bring... I meant to grab a Star Wars figure, and of course I forgot. So here is a figure arts that I have handy. To give you a rough guess, 
the mason of size. That's of a five and a half inch figure. Five inch figure. These are about they should be about twelve inches tall. Um, so they're big, and they're very very heavy. The Royal Guard was limited to three thousand five hundred pieces, not super limited, and not super in demand. So it's probably pretty easy to get a hold of, except that the box is the size of a medium-sized dog or more and weighs more, and it will cost a lot to ship. But anyway, I like them, so I recommend them. Thanks for watching.